I'm in San Luis Bepisbo, Bepisbo, some fucking thing. I I can't see anywhere with a name on it now. Now, now I'm in the one place in the entire bloody town that doesn't have anything with its name on. But uh, I just had breakfast at the Big Sky Cafe. They didn't have eggs Benedict, but I ordered poached eggs, bacon, and English muffins because I could. It was close enough. It was pretty good. Although, do you know what's funny? Is we don't really have English muffins in England. But uh, I guess I'm gonna walk back to my hotel, and if I find anything worth filming on the way, I'll let you know. Oh look, by the, before I go, look at this. This is like the one place in California that's green. Look at that, natural greenery in California. It's pretty incredible. I actually really like it. It's, it's actually a really nice town, but uh, I'll see you in a bit. I'm at San Luis Obispo, and this is Bubblegum Alley, which is pretty fucking gross if you ask me. But apparently this is one of the things that this place is famous for. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah, kind of disgusting and I actually don't really want to be in here. This is, yeah, th this is not gross. It's good. This, is, this is kind of gross. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that literally everyone in this place is really polite. You thought I was going to say white, didn't you? They are also very white. <laughs> but everyone's very nice. Very polite. And, uh... Yeah. Hmm, how British is that really going to be? And did I really come all the way across the world just to go to a British pub? This is, I swear to God, English people do this all the time. Like, oh, we've come all the way to this place and they've got a fish and chip shop. Let's get some fish and chips. Fucking why? Well, I found a mall. I really want to get over there, but I really don't want to jaywalk. Actually, I really don't want to go over there. But I thought I should do something with my time here. But, um... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to fucking jaywalk as soon as the cars are passed. Oh fuck, the cars aren't going to pass, are they? Is that a cop? Better not be a cop. Fuck the police! <laughs> huh. I feel like I'm in uh, a gay episode of The Simpsons. Holy shit, this place weeks of white privilege. The fuck is this communist? <laughs> Actually, it might be. Oh, Sally, if only you hadn't wasted so much water, we could have purchased that painting we always wanted. Sorry, Brad. Fucking hell, Sally. <laughs> Invest in conserve, buy art, save water. Wow, this is such an upscale place. And not just for the US as well. Ten dollar rack though. Give myself a nice dress. Don't do it. There's so much to live for. <laughs> what? what? Hmm? Right there, like the deals. Really? Oh yeah. Oh shit. Good, good spot. Don't see that where I'm from. Where you go last year? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Take care, man. You know what really pissed me off? I come to California, where weed is legal. Fuck, can I find any weed? Honestly. I'm finding a good smoothie, though, apparently. This has a very Mediterranean feel to it. Just in general. Not, not this particular spot I'm standing on. It's just something that occurred to me. But, um, I've got to say, it, it is nice here. It's a very nice town. It's actually not that warm, either. I'm actually wandering around in a coat at the moment because it was quite nippy earlier and it's still not too hot. And it's really hippie and middle fucking class. Look at this. <laughs> this is what I mean when I say this is a very Mediterranean feeling area. Except it's full of Americans <laughs> instead of full of English. <laughs> it's gorgeous though. I'm sure the weather's always this good as well. Sons of bitches. Right, so we're heading up to the mission. Because this was originally founded by the Spanish, which I'm sure you can tell by the name. So apparently this was founded in 1772. I'm sure it's still full of Catholics. These fourth generation bronze bells are named for the patron saints of the first five Alta California missions. Their presence helps to memorialize the beloved tradition of bell ringing at this parish. How annoying. <laughs> I don't want to see if I can go in the front door. Am I going to get in trouble? Am I going to get in trouble? 
Look at all these lovely flowers. I think this church is gay. These look like good presents. What did you bring us back from America, Dad? A rock. There's a museum to the Chumash, who uh, are apparently making flint tools. Prehistoric whamming in the kitchen. What they wouldn't give for a washing machine, eh? Hmm, look at this. There's so much they can teach us. And I know you're laughing, but you can't make obsidian arrowheads, so shut up. The fuck? My name is Benjamin Shapiro, and for my senior project to earn my bachelor's degree in history at Cal Poly, I've printed black text on something very dark, so I can't fucking read it. That's a fail, Benjamin Shapiro. This is what life was like for the native Indian tribes before the Spanish arrived. You might be thinking, good god, that must have been awful, but don't worry, they weren't white. <laughs> Native Americans of early California used their matat to make flour. A matat is a flat, solid piece of stone cut with steel tools. Where the fuck were they getting steel tools from? Well, yes, we are still hunting with flint, but we have steel tools back at the camp to make flour with. Now we have some relics of the, uh, the English who finally turned up. I want to say English, the Americans, obviously. It's, um, hmm. Strangely, we actually have evidence of steel tools with these people. Oh man, I could go for a pipe. This is pretty cool. Saddle from one of the horses of the uh, Spanish. Do we have a date? 1869, oh, not that old then. It's a recreation of the altar room from the original days of the mission. This is all uh, new, obviously, apart from the tabernacle, which you can see looks very old. I noticed they have a picture of St. Pete, who I guess was a traitor. <laughs> God, there are so many in-jokes on my channel that virtually no one's gonna get any of them. It's quite an attractive book. Sounds a bit of work into back then. Don't get too excited though. It's all in German. That was nice. The fuck? Oh shit, I think I found a Mexican. This place is almost insufferably prosperous. I mean, look at this. Just so unbelievably lovely here. And uh, I'm heading over to California Historical Landmark 802. So I'll let you know what that is in a minute. So we're apparently in the historic Chinatown district of San Luis Obispo. And uh, the historic monument is this building here, which is an old Chinese general store, which appears to have been modernized somewhat. This mosaic tile mural, placed in the heart of the historic Chinatown district of San Luis Obispo, commemorates the city's Chinese pioneers. As immigrants, they faced prejudice and exclusionary laws, but rose above such obstacles to make uh, major contributions to local commerce, agriculture, and industry. I, I know that this is probably because you're a young country and you haven't worked this out yet, but I'm telling you, in a thousand years' time, none of these buildings are going to be here. That's why Europe has all of their stuff. They build it all out of stone. And you don't have to listen to your neighbours having sex. I guess if you're going to be homeless anywhere, a place like this is the best place for it. It's fucking lovely here, the weather. It's only important for British people who haven't been here, but I guess. Cars just collided. <laughs> that van driving off now just bumped someone else in the, in the front. 
<laughs> I wasn't recording so I missed it. It uh, didn't sound too bad though. These both drove off I guess. <laughs> oh no, there he is, he's pulling in. That's ah, alright, I've caught you buddy. Don't you dare drive off. I think he's driving off. I oh, know he's not, he's turning in. Just drive around the corner, but I guess it's good that they're just in front of the medical centre. Yeah. Yeah, I, d I don't know. I did see it though. It was uh, a bit of a wake up, wasn't it? <laughs> Cheers. So this is what I'm talking about when it's uh, green mountains and hills around. It's actually really gorgeous here. The scenery. The trucks, not so much. Okay. Arthur's and chocolates, futons and waterbeds. Fucking kill me now. Holy shit. Man, this place is nuts. They have a psychic center right next to an alt-right restaurant. So it's quite hot now. Uh, I stopped to get tea, and I didn't get some cake, which I'm quite pleased with. Uh, <laughs> hey, when you're fat, it's difficult. Okay. Yeah, it's really gorgeous here. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad I came. <laughs>